Hello students, I am Ishan Trivedi. Welcome you in the video lecture 6. Today I am going to discuss about zoning. In this session, I am going to cover up introduction and definition of zoning and its importance, then basic movement in the transportation survey, the network identification and coding, then points while doing the zoning and at last various transportation survey. So first, we will understand what is zoning and its importance. The defined study areas is subdivided into smaller areas which, which we call a zone. The term zone ordinarily referred to a concentric ring or a belt with its central focus. Here, the zoning is defined as the creation by law of sections or zones such as residential, industrial, commercial, civic, institutional and recreational in which the regulation prevents misuse of lands and buildings and limit their height and density of population differing in different zones. Here, what zoning does? Zoning is the boundaries which has been created by laws and it covers the residential, industrial, commercial areas and here the regulation has been done or imposed in such a way that it prevents misuse of land and buildings. It limits the building heights and the density of population also. So, now understand the importance of zoning or you can say advantages. Zoning sets apart the different areas in the town for specific purpose. It prevents the encroachment of one zone upon another zone or upon another adjacent zone. For instance, the industrial area is located away from the residential area so that it is not affected by the dangerous gases and smoke. Then business or commercial areas are also separately located with their garages and service stations at distance from the residential area. As such, these residential areas are free from noise and the road traffic. The population is distributed throughout the town by zoning regulations so that there is no concentration of population in any particular zone. That means the population is evenly distributed and thus I will define the boundaries. Then height zoning regulates the height of buildings and hence the high rise building will not be allowed to construct near the small houses otherwise they will cut off the sunshine, air, breeze thereby making the life of resident uncomfortable. A land in the form of recreational area is also set aside for park playgrounds, stadiums, theatres and so on. In many of the cities, certain percentage of land has been reserved for these recreational activities. Now, zoning helps the proper coordination of various public amenities like water supply, drainage, electricity and transport. These are some of those essential amenities which everyone should be facilitated. Now, Zoning secures the orderly growth of the town which promotes the health, safety and order. It increases the utility, beauty, efficiency of town and zoning is the life and soul of successful town plan. And at last, chances of fire and consequent damages are also eliminated. So these are the advantages of zoning. Now understand the basic movements in this transportation survey based on zone. The purpose of zoning is to facilitate the spatial quantification of land use and the economic factors which influence the travel pattern. The data collected on the individual household basis cannot be conveniently considered and analyzed unless they are aggregated into smaller zones which reflect the average characteristics of individual household, zoning also helps in the geographically associating 
द ओरिजिन एंड डेस्टिनेशन ऑफ ट्रक जोन विद इन द स्टडी एरिया आर कॉल्ड इंटरनल जोन एंड दो आउटसाइड द सेंट्रल द स्टडी एरिया आर कॉल्ड एक्सटर्नल जोन और यू कैन से अकॉर्डन लाइन इज देयर और अ बाउंड्री इज देयर एंड आउटसाइड दैट एरिया इज कॉल्ड एक्सटर्नल जोन इन द लार्ज स्टडी प्रोजेक्ट इट इज मोर कन्वीनियंट टू डिवाइड द स्टडी एरिया इन टू सेक्टर्स एंड इट इज विच इज फर्दर सब डिवाइडेड इन टू स्मॉलर जोन इन एडिशन टू द एक्सटर्नल कॉर्डन लाइन देर मे बी नंबर ऑफ कॉर्डन लाइन अरेज एज अ कॉन्सेंट्रिक रिंग to check the accuracy of the survey data and the screen lines which are running through the study area are also established to check the accuracy of data which we have collected from the home interview survey again i am repeating the screen line i am quoting this the screen line running through the study area is established to check the accuracy of data that we have collected from the home interview survey screen lines can be conveniently located along the physical or a natural barrier having few crossing points for example the barriers of river canal railway line or any highway so as i told you three to four term that is of internal zone external zone screen line cordon line now these are the geographical feature or phenomenon which restrict or which identify the survey area and based on that or based on the basic moment the types of survey are of internal to internal surveys then internal to external survey external to internal survey and at last external to external survey for a large urban area the internal to internal survey in involves more movements whereas for small areas having population less than 4000 the internal to internal travel is less significant the internal to internal travel is best studied by the home interview technique which checks by the screen line survey here you can see a screen line which is the outer peripheral line of any study area which is further divided into the cordon line which are blue highlighted cordon line and each cordon line is further divided into zones so here four zones are there and their centroids are there now here as i said there is an internal to internal movement for larger area these are of heavy or you can say more in numbers and for lesser in the smaller area this travel pattern is best studied by the home interview technique and will get those checks by the screen line survey similarly we can do the internal to external survey external to internal survey and external to external travel which is studied by the cordon line survey the surveys can collect many data which are in the form of at home during the trips and at the destination end of the trips the data collected at home can be wide ranging and can cover all the trips which are made during a given period of time the data collected during the trip is necessarily of limited scope since the procedure yields data only on the particular trip that are of intercepted means here the during trip data collection is of limited in scope and i will get the data of that particular trip only and at destination end the data collected by the direct interview provided by the data on demand for such as parking facilities and on major traffic attractors such as offices factories commercial establishment and so on. so this is the types of survey and the basic moment of transportation survey now understand the network identification and its coding for coding and for easy data availability or 
to manage the data easily we have to identify the spots or the study area so that their interpretation can be done easily and for that zones their sectors and sub zones has been given particular class of coding for coding of zone a convenient system is applied and it will be very useful for the study for example in a study area one such system is to be divide the study area into various sectors for central or you can say for cbd area it is designated as zero and remaining eight are designated to the study area or you can say those sectors in clockwise manner here total 0 to 8 number are there in that 0 is denoted to cbd area and rest 1 to 8 are designated to the sectors and for example here i am giving a fine number for the sector then in that prefix 9 is reserved for external zone now furthermore each sector is subdivided into 10 zones bearing the numbers of 0 to 9 you can see here for this zone i will provide a number say 7 similarly these zones are furthermore subdivided into sub zone which denotes the digit ranging from 0 to 9 having 10 number say for this is a 2 then a sub zone comprises with three numbers or you can say three digit for example here i have shown you 572 means a sub zone bearing the number 572 belongs to the sector 5 to zone 7 and in that zone there is a sub zone of two number and this is how you can do the coding for the network identification now at last points to be kept while doing the zoning here first is the land use is the most important factor in establishing the zones for transportation survey and the predominant land use for establishing those zones are of residential industrial commercial recreational and open space the zone should have a homogeneous land use so as to reflect the accurate the associated trip making behavior while subdividing the study area into zones the anticipated changes in the land use should be considered the zone should not be too large to cause the considerable error in the data and at the same time they should not be too small to cause difficulties in handling or analyzing those data as a general rule a population ranging from 1000 to 3000 may be optimum for the small area and maximum population 5000 to 10000 for the large area it would be advantageous to follow the subdivision closely that adopted by the other bodies for data collection for example for census of india the data collection is been done in the ahmedabad in the particular ward similarly those ward or those area will be followed by the municipality or local governance and this will facilitate the correlation of data the zones should be or should preferably have regular geometric form for easy determination of zonal centroid which represent the origin and termination of travel zone must be compatible with the chordal lines and the screen lines then the sector should be represent the catchment of trips that generated on a particular route the zone boundaries should preferably be watershed of trip making and at last physical or natural barrier like river canal railway line and highway can be formed convenient zone boundaries so these are the points to be kept in mind while doing the zoning now at last 
there are various transportation service here is the list of these transportation service first is the origin and destination survey which is known as od survey these surveys are further classified as home interview method license plate method written postcard method roadside interview method and at last tag on car method furthermore there are traffic surveys at mid block count screen line survey commercial vehicle survey taxi survey public transport survey parking survey and at last pedestrian survey these all surveys has been studied in the next lectures so i am ending this session here i hope you have learned the zoning how this basic movement of transportation has been done then introduction to various types of service thanks for watching this video